Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special economic weather report from here at the Reserve Bank in Wellington. This is brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Today the Reserve Bank has released its June quarter monetary policy statement and has announced it has kept the official cash rate on hold at 2.5%. This was as expected. The Reserve Bank also said it will gradually increase the official cash rate over the next two years to control some inflationary pressures building in the economy. It sees the economy in a much more robust shape than it was last time it released its monetary policy statement. Remember, that was on March 10th, just a few weeks after the devastating earthquake in Christchurch. Back then, the Reserve Bank cut the official cash rate from 3% to 2.5%. Most economists are expecting the Reserve Bank to put up the official cash rate later this year, possibly December, maybe in the first quarter of March. And there wasn't much in this statement to change that expectation. However, there were some comments about the New Zealand dollar. Remember, since March, the New Zealand dollar has risen quite a lot against the US dollar and also on a trade-weighted index basis. The Reserve Bank said, however, that the strength in the New Zealand dollar wasn't helping the rebalancing of the economy. And it also said the currency was overvalued. But when asked specifically about intervention, the Reserve Bank said it wouldn't comment, it said it normally didn't. But that it didn't think it could change the underlying track of the currency over the long term. It could only take off the tops and lift the bottoms. Essentially, the Reserve Bank seems reluctant to intervene. And when you look at when it last intervened, which was in mid-2007, the trade weighted index was up at 75. Currently, it's just over 70. The difference between then and now is that the New Zealand dollar is quite a bit weaker against the Australian dollar, which makes up the biggest portion of our trade. So there we have it. The Reserve Bank has released its June quarter monetary policy statement, in which has left the official cash rate on hold. It's also increased slightly its track for the 90-day bill forecast by around 20 to 30 basis points to around 4.8% from now 2.6% over the next couple of years. That would imply floating mortgage rates rising from around 5.75% now to around 7.75%, maybe 8% over the next couple of years. The Reserve Bank also likes that a lot of people are now on floating rates because it means any changes in the official cash rate will have more oomph when it happens. It also doesn't expect New Zealanders to shift from floating back to fixed because it says longer term interest rates are relatively higher and it wouldn't make sense for a lot of New Zealanders to shift from floating into fixed. One of the reasons it's been able to leave the official cash rate down where it is for so long and not increase it so fast is because it says it has this extra power with its monetary policy lever because more people are now on floating than fixed. This is a real change from a few years ago. I'm Bernard Hickey. This is a special economic weather report brought to you from here at the Reserve Bank in Wellington for the June monetary policy statement brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.